Operation Day, everyone. Welcome once again to our uh, lecture for today. So today our topic is all about the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. So this is our ne next topic uh, after our derivative of trigonometric functions. Okay, so let us have this uh, concept here. So let's recall that the inverse sine function denoted by um, this uh, notation we have sine and we have negative 1 so this uh, indicates uh, inverse of the function sine and this is given by like this y equal to inverse sine of x if and only if x equal to sine y Alright, so this is true as long as this condition is satisfied. Alright, so inverse sine function, if f of x equal to inverse sine of x, then the derivative of the function f of x is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this time class, I uh, will just... Uh, uh, use this formula. It's been uh, derived already. So let's show you the derivation. I'll just give you the the result, no? the resulting uh, derivative of a given inverse sine function. And so do with the other functions. Also recall that the inverse cosine function denoted by cos, and we have negative 1, as the, uh, something like an exponent, is given with this y equal to inverse cosine x if and only if x equal to cosine y. So for the inverse cosine function, if we have f of x equal to inverse cosine of x, then the derivative of the function, the derivative of the inverse cosine x is given by this negative. So this is negative here, so be careful, huh? don't... Uh, don't miss this uh, sign class. It's very important because if you miss this sign here, uh, your answer will be wrong already. Okay? So be careful. It's uh, all, uh, the same as the sign except for the this one here, the negative. Okay? Also recall the inverse tangent function denoted by this notation and is given by this y equal to inverse tangent of x if and only if x equal to tangent y. Now for the formula, if the function f of x equal to inverse tangent of x, then we have this f prime of x equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Okay, now for the cotangent, same condition. Uh, uh, we have here the function, inverse cotangent of x, then the derivative of this inverse cotangent of x equal to negative. So again, so take note on this negative here. So negative uh, 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Then for the secant, if you have f of x equal to inverse secant of x, then the derivative of it is equal to 1 divided by x times the square root of x squared minus 1. And for the cosecant, so if you're given f of x equal to cosecant or inverse cosecant of x, then its derivative is equal to negative. So again, we have here the negative sign. A negative 1 divided by x times the square root of x squared minus 1. Okay? So in general, we can write the, the given formulas, so the derived formulas into this uh, presentation. So we have the derivative of inverse sine u 
as a function uh, with respect to x equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. So that is for the inverse sine. Now for the inverse cosine, so derivative of inverse cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative. Okay, so careful on the sine class. Negative 1 divided by square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. So whatever is the u here, and also the u here, you have to take the derivative of that with respect to x. Okay? Now for the tangent. So the inverse tangent of u, the derivative of it with respect to x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. And the cotangent, the inverse cotangent of u, when you take the derivative of it with respect to x, this is equivalent to negative. So once again, careful on this sign. So this is negative 1 divided by 1 plus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. And for the secant, so the derivative of inverse secant u with respect to x equal to 1 divided by u times the square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x. And the last one, we have the derivative of inverse cosecant u with respect to x equal to negative 1 divided by u times the square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x. Alright, so if you look at the formula class, uh, sine and cosine, they are related. No? They are just uh, differentiated uh, with the sine, with this sign here. So look at their uh, denominator. They are just the same except for the sign. Alright, and you do the same. The same thing, you take the derivative of u with respect to x. And so do we the tangent, inverse tangent. So derivative of inverse tangent and in derivative inverse cotangent, if you look at their denominator, they are just the same, right? Except for the sign here. And also the inverse secant. So the derivative of inverse secant u with respect to x, so you have here, if you look at this denominator here, so the same as for the cosecant, except for the sign here. Alright, so it's not difficult to memorize class. It's easy to remember. And the common mistake here is that after the uh, after taking the derivative, uh, usually students forget to take the derivative of u with respect to x and multiply it with this one here. Okay, so we have here some uh, numbers that we need to practice class. So I'll solve uh, some of them and I will... And I will let you solve the, the rest of this. Okay? And uh, see you in our next video for the solution of some of these numbers. Alright? Thank you very much. Uh, uh, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye.